When I saw the scrolling sidebar widget, I thought this may be a way to bring in all that curriculum documentation. When I tried to bring it in as a page before, the Word table maintained as one large table, which wouldn't worry if it was able to scroll. So let's see how that worked out. I'm going to go up to my unit section and I'm going to add a new blank page. And I'm going to add my scrolling widget. Now you don't drag this one out, you just click on it and it appears. It will only go to a certain width. That's as wide as it goes and it can sit there. You can change the background colour if you want over here. Now I thought to do this, all I have to do is drag my unit outline in. So I thought, nothing. Doesn't work. You have to add the text. All right, well, let's open that unit up then, and let's see. What if I did a select all, which grabs everything, and then copied it. Double click to add text. All right, I'll double click, and then I'll control V, I will paste. And let's see what happens. Well, it's whizzing and whirring, thinking, and look, no table. There's all my information, but no table. But, you know, actually, this isn't too bad. As I look down here, the information's not too badly laid out. I could probably go through, and you'll notice none of the formatting came in either. I could probably change it a little bit if I wanted to. I would only do it for something like this. I would not do it for anything with the students, because you lose all the interactivity. It says you can drag over an image. Well, let's drag over an image and see what happens. Right, the image sits there, there's the text wrap, yeah, text wraps around it. So, and I imagine that will now scroll, yep, I can, so I can scroll images through the text. Informational text maybe, so that the child doesn't have to flip over from page to page. Maybe older students it would work with. So there could be some uses for it, but it's not going to work for our purposes today. So an interesting tool, but fairly limited.